Hey YouTube, here's the update for the 30 gallon. I was just traveling internationally last week for several days, so I didn't upload anything. What do you want? That's Iggy, our new kitten. She's all right. Anyways, back to the fish. I got some Pristella or X-ray tetras. I got five of them at the local fish store. I'm going to eventually have a school of nine or 11 in here uh, to complement the 14 neon tetras. Can't quite make out its tail. The L400 Pleco is doing well. All four of them are eating. They all appear healthy when I peek at them at night. And two of them are friendly and confident enough now to come out with the lights on. So they'll come out and eat before I go to bed, which is really nice to see. I think they're two of the three females. But, uh... Yeah, it's nice to see them swimming around. The honey garami as well. She's being antisocial today. The shrimp in this tank are doing amazingly, amazingly well. I've had a couple of rounds of babies. Here you can see a juvenile. There's another juvenile up here. So everything's doing really well in this tank. I'm really pleased with how everything's growing in. Uh, I don't know what this big, tall plant is. I planted a bunch of it. My mom gave it to me. But I don't know what it is. So if anybody can help me identify that spindly, long kind of stem plant. I'm thinking it might be stargrass, but I'm not sure. So there it is. You can see some floating water sprite right next to it on the left. But I don't know what that plant is, so if anybody can help me identify it, that'd be awesome. The other interesting thing is my crypt Wenty here in the middle has been turning kind of brownish red. Um, all the leaves have been doing this, but it continues to grow and turn out new leaves. So I think this is because it's growing in fluorite, which is iron rich. And I think it's getting a bit more light. It's only happening on the plants in the middle. The ones at the ends that receive a little bit less light are staying more green. So it's kind of creating a, nif a nifty contrast in the tank. But beyond that, I'm not too sure of its cause. If it's the light, if it's the nutrients, or a combination of both. I turned up the flow on the filter, so there's a lot more flow through this tank. Uh, you'll notice that the crypt is moving in the current there. Even some of the java moss is moving in the current. Um, the fish seem to be a little bit more active this way, and they seem to like it. I don't know if it's because the water is better oxygenated or if they actually like a little bit of current. But the current runs down the front of the tank here, across the side, and then is stopped by this tree. So there's very little current in this corner of the tank or along the back. Uh, just kind of gives the fish several things to do. There's not a whole bunch of current that tires them out across the entire tank.
Alright, thanks for watching.